I swear I start all my vlogs with like no makeup on. Like, I've got to stop doing this. Hey everyone, hope you're doing really well. Uh, so today I thought I would finally pick up my camera and do some more vlogging. I've got so much stuff coming up, so I just thought I'd get into the habit of making sure I kind of weekly vlog for you guys and keep you up to date with going on, what's going on in my life. Um, I'm just about to head off to my nail appointment to go see uh, Flamingo Boutique. I'm so overdue to get my nails done. My camera won't focus on my nails because it's been a real a-hole lately. And if you're wondering why I've got so many sores on my fingers, everything just like escalated really quickly on Saturday night after having like eight people to do for makeup, didn't eat, had too much champagne, went to go like high five someone with all my weight when I was stepping out of door, tripped over the door ledge and connected so hard to the concrete with my knee. My hand tried to break my fall, so it took me like an hour to realize that my knee was busted. I ripped a massive hole in my jeans and it was bleeding. <laughs> no, okay, anyways, we need to go to this appointment because Britt's gonna be wondering where the heck I am. Oh, and Peter wants to play. You wanna play with your toy? Hey. Oh, by the way, this shirt is by um, Britt and Primey. They are a new, um, Christchurch based like home decor and like t-shirt uh, website. It's actually one of my like uh, distant cousins who are doing it, Brit. So yeah, they do some really cool ones as well. They actually um, sent me this one as well. It says, give a shit, which I love because I'm going to wear this a shitload. I've just pulled up to um, a home. Well, it's like a little organization at the moment here in Hara. I'm, um, I've just done a whole lot of clients for the Hara High School Ball, but I've also uh, volunteered my time to help out the Kai Kitchen. They're like a non-profitable organization that help that are helping um, a whole lot of kids who can't necessarily afford to go to their own um, high school ball. So I am doing a whole lot of makeup and there'll be heads of hairdressers and people who are donated gowns and they're going to be taking the kids to uh, their school ball. So super exciting. So I know I look like I don't know even know what I look like right now <laughs> today is a really busy day for me as you can see yes I've only got like my eyeshadow on <laughs> uh, the Taranaki industry wedding awards are on again this year and I've been nominated um, really exciting but I don't start like I I've, I've got bookings from 10 o'clock right through till 6 so I've just got my eyes on instead of like doing like my base and everything because I just don't want to have to deal with like you know wearing my makeup all day long this is like the worst shirt as well it's like look how badly designed this shirt has been made it's awful I am just in the middle of getting ready for my next client to come um, I've prepped my hair it's all curled and so as soon as like, I finish at 6 and the event starts at 6 so I just need to kind of be like semi done ready to go <laughs> so that's why I've got my eyes done and my hair ready to go wearing a really beautiful dress I actually stole my sister's no I didn't steal it she actually gave it to me which is really kind of her she gave me her ball dress, um, her ball's in another uh, month, so she hasn't even worn it yet, but she's letting me wear it, which is so sweet of her. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just update you guys. Yesterday was amazing at the Kai Kitchen. I had so many amazing clients yesterday. I had quite a lot of tears with people who were so excited and so happy with their makeup, which made me just feel so amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm just waiting for my next client who is already running five minutes late and it's not going to help my situation of trying to get to the, the event um, sooner rather than later. <laughs> it's one of those things, you know, always be on time for your appointment, guys. <laughs> so yeah, I've just got my little food ready to go as well. Um, <laughs> got my crackers, my tuna, my, um, actually these biscuits, um, they're like, they're not biscuits, but these um, muesli bars are like amazing. Heads of water, because having such a big day of like seven or eight people, I generally forget to eat because I book them by the hour. So I'll go one, two, three, four, and appointments generally take um, an hour max. So I don't get a lot of time to eat and drink. So I need to make sure I keep hydrated and fed so I last the night. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, so we're back at the interview for the I'm sure there's vlogs somewhere where we were doing this this time last year. Melissa's wearing my dress from last time. You just got a bit of boob out again. Always boob out. Um, so I finished work at 6 o'clock and the whole event started at 6 so it's been pretty um, hectic just trying to get here on time. So I'm here with some of the crew. Say hi guys. Hi. Some of the nominees. Because I do talk a lot of ways. Um, 
But seriously, I could not do my job without everyone here. So I just want to thank everyone. And the people I haven't had the chance to work with, I look forward to working with you. <laughs> pay a lot of um, my appreciation to the uh, wedding industry. It's such a tight knit little community and I'm always so grateful to hear these amazing people in um, the same business that I work in um, recommending me to help out with these weddings so you know I couldn't be doing what I'm doing without you guys and I'm so fortunate as well because of the support that I get I've been able to now leave my job and do this full time so yeah thank you so much guys I really appreciate it. Hey guys so I'm really sorry this vlog's a little bit all over the place I've just been filming little bits and bobs when I'm at something and then kind of forget to finish the vlog or like continue on with the vlog um so this morning I have got a client coming around she's actually just a really good friend of mine I'm just doing a client tutorial video for my um youtube channel um as you can see I'm just getting set up here um yeah I've got the heater going because it's so cold and Peter's just laying right up against it so yeah you guys are probably wondering why I haven't got like a full face on and I look a little bit of a mess considering I've got someone coming around I'm generally really casual when it comes to things like um, filming a video uh, with a friend when it comes to client tutorials. Um, I wear makeup all the time, especially for my job, so when I can get an opportunity not to wear it and just let my skin breathe, I do. And may I add, because I'm so stoked, my skin is looking really good at the moment. For the last like probably month I haven't had any major breakouts on my skin which has been really good. I guess because I just haven't been wearing as much makeup but because I'm going to the gym, I'm eating a lot more cleaner now, I'm getting a bit more sleep, drinking more water. So it's having some really great effects on my skin. It's amazing. I can't complain. So a child with the amount of toys that this kid has, eh? He's so cute and he's like, no, I have your Elmo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Liv. Um, I did Liv's makeup like... How long ago? Two years ago. Two years ago, and we did this amazing like red lip, kind of a soft smoky eye. So we're gonna recreate it today. Liv, okay, I'm gonna tell you a funny story. Oh my God. <laughs> well, she's over. You're living over in on the Gold Coast. Gold yeah. Coast at the moment, and you're doing like training for sprinting, trying yeah. to run as fast as I can. Yeah, and she, uh, how much? It was like what? How many months ago? She like ran a relay against Usain oh, Bolt. Yeah. <laughs> It's like the funniest little like picture of it. Of me and it has the caption like relay stuff up and it was like in the, the Melbourne Herald or whatever it was oh. and everyone was like you screwed it up he's so angry at you and it wasn't even me. Oh my god did it get that deep? They just used the photo of like me because it looked entertaining yeah. and they had a relay stuff up and um, they used my photo so everyone was messaging me and it looked like I had created this big drama and it wasn't oh my god actually yeah, yeah, it was horrible. oh my god I thought it was like really cool I was like oh my god she's racing against Usain Bolt but I didn't realize it got like that it was yeah it was Usain Bolt furious after relay stuff up and they used my photo and I had nothing to do with it so um yeah this is actually a really similar look that we did for her what was it ball Bald. yeah ages ago we just added like more of a smokiness under her eyes but yeah very glam. Just getting ready to go to the gym. Um, I have just been editing practically all day today. <sighs> and it has just been one of those just like random admin days. Look at that little knob on my head. <laughs> yeah, just been like a random admin day. Uh, the place is a bloody tip at the moment just after doing uh, that tutorial with Liv. I didn't have my smoothie so it's just sitting there like decomposing. It's so gross. Um, and I'm super excited. A whole lot of um, the wedding dresses that I ordered from my eBay haul have started to arrive. I haven't opened them yet because I'm just going to save it for when I go to do the video. And yeah, this is me getting ready to go to the gym. I look like a ninja because I'm all in black. So I'll take you guys to the gym and just see what we get up to. Uh, we're doing boxing tonight, which I'm really excited about. I really enjoy doing boxing because I get a really good sweat up, but also, you know, use all the muscles at the same time. So you feel like you're getting, <laughs> I just can't get over this knob here. morning guys so it's the next morning and it's about 7 30 i just got up um trent's just gone to work so exciting he's just got the blocks down at the house so um 
We just got a phone call from the concreting guy and they can only, like they've just got a break and so they said they can start laying down some concrete into the blocks. Um, around 8.30 so Trent's like woke up in a mad frantic panic so he has gone to the section to go lay some concrete in the blocks. Um, so this morning uh, I have got to do a presentation speech at WIT, which is the Western Institute of Technology. It's kind of like a um, university here in New Plymouth. Um, I'm a guest speaker. I'm just feeding Peter his breakfast because he's just like, come on bitch, feed me. Um, yeah, I've been asked to be a guest speaker just to talk about what I do, I guess, to a lot of the young girls who um, are doing like makeup courses and stuff there. I'm just going to make Peter's breakfast while we're here. Um, yeah, so anyways, I'm feeling pretty sore after last night's boxing. Um, but in saying that, I'm definitely not as sore as what I used to be. Feeling good. I'm still feeling insanely bloated. Um, I don't know why. Just I have a coffee every morning because I love my coffee. Um, hey, baby. Ready? Um, so I just thought I would... Maybe, maybe it's the maybe it's the milk in my coffee. It's the only thing I can kind of think of. So I've just changed my milk out, and I'm gonna try soy milk. I never thought I'd ever go soy milk, but I thought I'd just give it a go and see if it helps with bloating. Quick in your corner, quick in your corner. All right, let's put this down here. You ready? Three, two, one, come here. Good boy. Soy milk coffee, it doesn't smell as great as a normal coffee, so let's try it. Oh fuck. How do people drink this shit? <laughs> Ugh, well if this is what's gonna make me skinny and not so bloated, then fuck it. Okay, I'm starting to get a little nervous now. Uh, I do like public speaking every now and again but I don't know many people who actually feel comfortable doing it so it's just when I'm up there I just go Word and it was so cool. I ended up having a huge amount of girls and guys come and listen to my talk, and it was so nerve wracking. I am apparently I touch my nose a lot when I'm nervous when I speak. <laughs> so used to like sitting in a room by myself with a camera. Um, I have done a bit of public speaking, but I like I said, I just think you naturally get nervous. So I'm just here cleaning up all my brushes, getting ready for a client to come in the next hour, um, and then I think. I'm going out for drinks tonight at um, Snug Lounge for a friend who is leaving the pharmacy and, that I used to work at and then a big big day of makeups tomorrow for some balls and some 21st and stuff so Peter's just keeping me some company. Look, look how cute he is, he's got his little Elmo. Have you got Elmo there honey? He always sleeps with like a toy, he's so cute. Look he's gonna come show me his toy. Oh thank you. Petey, up on the chair, honey. Go on, up on your chair. Go have a sleep. Lay down. Oh, God. Is he just not the cutest thing you have ever seen? He's so cute. Yeah, I better wrap up this vlog. I feel like it's just been going on forever and ever. So, thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, have a lovely day. And I will see you soon. Bye.